Well, you know, quite honestly, I'm, I'm a pessimist. Um, and that's what drives me to do what I do. Because, um, you know, when you see the problems in the world, you, you really want to try and help make some positive change. You don't want it, you can put it right back. I'm gonna take care of you. I appreciate it. Okay. Just just curious. I thought it was gonna be like a stay this far away from oh, you know. <laughs> Can you tell the camera what the sticks are for? Um punching snakes <laughs> and fighting on rocks. <laughs> it's kinda of so I'm gonna actually, you know, I, I cut it down, I took it, I think it's historic. I think you know, when I was a child, I used to go up here to this pool. My name is Paul Jenkin. I'm the Ventura Campaign Coordinator for the Surfrider Foundation and the founder of the Matilla Hawk Coalition. Uh, for the last 25 years, I've been working to restore the Ventura River watershed and the beach at the mouth of the Ventura River. Matilla Dam was constructed in 1948. It was originally intended as a water supply for the Ojai Valley farmers. And um, soon that water supply was replaced by Lake Casitas that was built in 1956. Tillaha Dam had a lot of problems and the, the big, big issue was the integrity of the concrete. And so when they found out that the concrete was failing, they had to lower the elevation of the dam. The dam was notched in 65, took 30 feet off the top. So now it's about 165 feet tall at the crest where the floods flow over now. Matillaha Creek was a beautiful destination. It's featured on postcards from the early 1900s. This was a place where people came to swim in the river, to fish for steelhead, uh, and to enjoy the pools that were created by the hot springs down below. Um, over the years, when the dam was constructed, initially there was a camping area behind and there was uh, fishing in the reservoir, but uh, by the time the 1960s came around and the dam had to be lowered, all of that went away. The, the dam was rapidly filling with sediment and um, quickly losing its usefulness. The Matillaha Dam is on Matillaha Creek, and Matillaha Creek forms the headwaters of the Ventura River. So Matillaha Creek and North Fork Matillaha Creek come together just below the dam, and the Ventura River flows from there all the way out to the Pacific Ocean. Dams around the world create all kinds of problems, and one of the big problems with dams, of course, is the sedimentation, traps the sediment uh, and prevents it from getting down the river, down below and all the way out to the ocean. So with the case of Matillaha Dam, uh, one of the big issues that initially got me interested in it was beach erosion at the mouth of the Ventura River. All the sand on the beaches comes from rivers like this and damming those rivers prevents the sand from getting on the beach. The beach is narrow and we end up with a problem. Uh, the other big issue with Matillaha Dam is the native steelhead trout. And steelhead trout are anadromous fish, like salmon, that spawn and rear in 
fresh water up high in the mountains, go out to the ocean and return. So uh, big dams like this completely block any fish passage up into the headwaters, which is critical to their survival. The ideal goal with a steelhead is that as soon as they have access to the headwaters, they will make their way upstream. And so, you know, initially there's a lot of concern that maybe this, the high sediment and other things will impact the fish, but from all the dam removals that we've witnessed in, in the, throughout the country, we've seen that the fish adapt really quickly. They're really a keystone species. They really uh, give you um, the, the foundation of an ecosystem that used to support grizzly bears. If you look at the sign that's just downstream of the dam here, uh, it talks about the days when uh, fishermen came to the Ventura River to catch fish and grizzly bears roamed in the Ventura River. It's hard to imagine that today, but uh, the fish that ran up the river were able to support, you know, a huge population of large carnivores. I initially got interested with this project because of the beach erosion at the mouth of the Ventura River at Surfers Point. And uh, at the same time we started this campaign, uh, we started a campaign to restore the beach by moving the damaged bike path and parking lot back and restoring the beach. So uh, that project is underway and this project has been in the planning stages now for the last 25 years. Falling down here, you can see how how uh, crazy this place is. Uh, Matillaha Dam is a tremendous challenge because it's not only a technical issue; it's also a very uh, political and social concern. It's something that everybody agrees needs to happen at this point, but there's still a lot of things that need to be worked out. The big concern with uh, dam removal, especially the Matillaha Dam, is that there's development in the floodplain downstream. And so how we manage the dam removal and what happens to all the sediment when it's released is the subject of a lot of studies and a lot of engineering. <clears throat> the way that we're looking at removing the dam right now is actually by drilling big giant holes in the base of the dam, waiting for a big flood and opening those holes so that the sediment can be eroded from the reservoir upstream and, and flushed all the way out to the ocean. Uh, we looked at a lot of different ways of doing it and this is the way that, that we're working on right now. Uh, there are communities that live downstream of Matillaha Dam. Um, a lot of them are currently protected by levees. Those levees are going to have to be upgraded and reconstructed to to make sure that there's no problems. Um, we're already building a new bridge to accommodate the increased sediment load in the Ventura River. And we're looking at improving uh, a water diversion that will also be impacted by sediment coming down the river. So downstream of Matillaha Dam, there's uh, two bridges that are uh, slated for replacement and, and improvement. Right now the Santa Ana Bridge in Oakview is under construction. That started last year and it'll be finished this summer. That bridge will widen the river by over 100 feet in that area to allow the increased sediment to pass right through. Um, and then directly downstream of the dam is the Camino Cielo Bridge. And that's not even really a bridge right now, it's really just kind of a, a low water crossing. So we're looking at ways to improve that to ensure that residents can still get across the river and so it won't trap the sediment that comes down. Yeah, now we, we have now uh, collectively raised over $25 million towards this project. Uh, most of that money has come from the state of California through state agencies and most of that money has been for uh, all the planning and engineering and design work. The exception to that, well about half of that money, 13 million dollars, is for the replacement of the Santa Ana Bridge. That is happening this year 
Um, and so we're hoping that we're going to be able to continue to raise the money required to eventually remove the dam. Um, the scissors were painted on the dam in 2011. It was kind of a, a protest art project, if you like. That's something that is, is kind of uh, iconic in dams and dam removal. Um, there was uh, a whole history of other paintings on other dams. And um, at the time, there was a film being made called Damnation. If you've seen the film Damnation, uh, it'll kind of explain how the scissors came about. Projects like this are so important to try and restore the resiliency of our local ecosystems. We all depend locally here on the Ventura River for our water supply. And um, re restoring the, the ecosystem with with removing the dam is something that will help us be more resilient into the future with climate change. I think that uh, if everybody took on uh, one small thing in their life and made it their mission to try and help effect positive change, I think the world would be a better place. Um, no, let's take the dam out. <laughs>